द वेक्टर्स ए बार बी बार एंड सी बार डिफाइन ए पैरल ऑफ एफर्ट इवेल्यूएट लेंथ ऑफ इट्स एडजेस एरिया ऑफ इट्स फेसेस एंड इट्स वॉल्यूम लेट से दिस इज अवर पैरल ऑफ एफर्ट वी हैव एडजेस एज ए बार बी बार एंड सी बार लेंथ ऑफ द एडजेस इट इज गिवेन बाई मॉडलस ऑफ ए बार मॉडलस ऑफ बी बार एंड मॉडलस ऑफ सी बार सो एडजेस आर गिवेन बाई ए बार इज ट्वेल्व ए कैप प्लस फोर जे कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप मॉड ए बार वुड बी अंडर रूट ट्वेल्व ए स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री स्क्वेयर विच इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टीन मॉडलस ऑफ बी इज अंडर रूट एट स्क्वेयर प्लस नाइन स्क्वेयर प्लस ट्वेल्व स्क्वेयर एट स्क्वेयर प्लस नाइन स्क्वेयर इज टेन स्क्वेयर प्लस ट्वेल्व स्क्वेयर इट इज सेवेंटीन स्क्वेयर सो मॉड बी इज गोइंग टू बी सेवेंटीन एंड थर्टी थ्री स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर स्क्वेयर प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेयर इज फोर्टी वन स्क्वेयर और मॉड सी इज फोर्टी वन सो वी हैव लेंथ ऑफ द एडजस्ट बी थर्टीन सेवेंटीन एंड फोर्टी वन एरिया ऑफ द फेसेस एरिया ऑफ द फेस formed by a parallelogram a and b as coterminous edges it is given by modulus of a cross b a bar is known to us 12a cap plus 4j cap plus 3k cap b bar is known to us 8a cap minus 12j cap uh, 9k cap so a cross b it will be given by ijk 12 4 3 Eight minus twelve minus nine, and we need to take modulus of this cross product. So this will give us area of the parallelogram base with coterminous edges A and B. Similarly, we have areas to be mod B cross C and mod C cross A. This will be areas of all the three faces. And volume of the parallel pipette, we all know it is given by modulus of A B. C box product of three vectors A, B, C and with their modulus. So this will be volume of the parallel pipe. The volume of parallel pipe is four, whose co concurrent edges are represented by I cap plus X A X J cap minus X square K cap, I cap plus J cap minus K cap, and I cap minus J cap plus K cap. Find the possible values of x. Volume of the parallel pipe is given to be four, and we know it is equal to determinant one x minus x square, one one minus one, one minus one one. Let us add second row to third row. This determinant will be equal to one. X x square, the minus sign. One one minus one. Two zero zero. Now this is a determinant when we evaluate by last row. It is going to be two into minus x plus x square. So we can say x square minus x is equal to two, or this implies. X is minus one or two. V one is volume of parallel pipe, and V two is volume of the parallel pipe formed with three concurrent diagonals of three faces of the original parallel pipe. Find relation between V one and V two. Let's say this is the parallel pipe with formed with coterminous edges. A bar, B bar, and C bar. Now V two is volume of parallel pipe formed with three concurrent diagonals. Let's say we take all face diagonals passing through this point. There will be three face diagonals possible. This face diagonal is diagonal of a parallelogram whose two adjacent edges are A bar and B bar. So diagonal AB it is given by A bar plus B bar. Diagonal BC, it is given by B bar plus C bar, and diagonal CA is given by C bar plus A bar. 
Now volume of the parallelepiped formed with these three diagonals as it suggests would be box product of A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. By property of scalar triple products, this is equal to determinant of coefficient of A bar 1, coefficient of B bar 1, coefficient of C bar 0 in the first vector, coefficient of A bar 0, coefficient of B bar 1, coefficient of C bar 1 in second one and coefficient of A bar 1, coefficient of B bar 0, coefficient of C bar 1 into box ABC. So V2 which is given by box of A plus B, B plus C, C plus A is equal to this determinant, absolute value of the determinant into box ABC which is going to be 2V1. So V2 we can say is equal to 2V1. The position vectors of the points A, B, C, D are respectively 2i plus j minus k, i plus j plus k, i minus 2j plus 3k and 3i minus 4j plus 2k. Evaluate box product of AB bar, AC bar, AD bar. Box product of three vectors is given by a determinant containing components of these vectors. A B bar is B bar minus A bar and B bar minus A bar is going to be minus 1 I cap, 0 J cap and 2 K cap. A C bar is going to be C bar minus A bar which is minus 1 I cap, minus 3 J cap, 4 K cap. A D bar is D bar minus A bar which is I cap minus 2J cap plus 3K cap. This determinant is going to be minus 1 into minus 9 plus 8 1 minus 0 into whatever is 0 2 into 4 2 into 2 plus 3 5 10 is equal to 11. So we can say that this box plot is not 0 so the vectors are non-coplanar hence the 4 points are non-coplanar. Prove that a minus b cross a minus b minus c dot a plus 2b minus c is equal to 3 times box abc. Now we can see a scalar triple product here, one vector cross another vector and the result dotted with another vector. So this is box product of A minus B, A minus B minus C, A plus 2B minus C which is equal to that of coefficient of A1, coefficient of B minus 1, C0, 1 minus 1 minus 1. 1, 2, minus 1 into box ABC. On evaluating this determinant by the last column, this is 1 into 2 plus 1, 3 and minus 1 into 0. So this determinant it is equal to 3 times box ABC. If ABC are non-coplanar, then prove that A plus B, B plus C, C plus A are also non-coplanar. For three vectors to be non-coplanar, their box product should not be zero. So it is given that box ABC is not equal to zero. There are three non-coplanar vectors. And we need to prove that box of A plus B plus B plus C, C plus A is not zero. We know that box of A plus B, B plus C, C plus A is equal to determinant of coefficients of ABC 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 into box ABC. Let us evaluate this determinant. It is 1 into 1 minus 1 into minus 1 
is 0 into whatever is 0 so it is 2 into box ABC as box ABC is non-zero 2 into box ABC will also be non-zero hence we can say that the vectors are non-coplanar prove that box A minus B B minus C C minus A is equal to 0 we can prove it in two terms box of A minus B B minus C C minus A is equal to data of 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 into box ABC if we evaluate the value of this determinant 1 into 1 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 into minus 1 will give us 0 as value of this determinant is 0 we can say irrespective of ABC being coplanar or non coplanar A minus B, B minus C, C minus A will always be coplanar. The alternate way of looking at the same question is if these three vectors are x bar, y bar and z bar we can see x plus y plus z is equal to 0. So there exists a not all zero linear combination of the vectors x bar, y bar and z bar which is 0 so we can say that the vectors are linearly dependent or they are coplanar so we can say that the vectors a minus b b minus c c minus a are coplanar if the vectors 1 a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square are non coplanar and p bar is equal to a b c q bar is equal to a square b square c square r bar is equal to 1 plus a cube 1 plus b cube 1 plus c cube are coplanar then find the value of a b c it is given that 1 a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square are three non coplanar vectors so this determinant it is given that it is not equal to 0 and it is also given that p q and r are coplanar vectors so if i split this determinant into two parts if I break it along the third row this determinant it is equal to a b c a square b square c square 1 1 1 a b c a square b square c square a cube b cube c cube which is in turn equal to I will take a common from the first column b common from the second column c common from third column I have a b c common so this is equal to a b c plus 1 into data of a b c a square b square c square 1 1 1 this determinant is given to be equal to 0 and it is also told that the determinant 1 1 1 a b c a square b square c square is non zero so this implies ABC plus 1 is 0 or ABC is minus 1.